to reduce the clutter on your table, you need a direction. So something like Prep Ladder gives us that direction. You have some 40 hours or 50 hours of Ghana. I have given all the content of pharmacology. I've contributed the entire content for internal medicine. I've created the content for PSM. You can trust the questions and explanations to be genuine. Detailed explanations will help you solve the different variations of the same question. Textbook references will help you authenticate an answer. I have created this content after close inspection of the previous year questions. I have put in my 14 years of experience into creating these questions. Includes the latest exam questions, questions on the recent updates, as well as the image based questions. All questions are according to recent exam trends and difficulty level. So the software would be exactly like the real exam. All your queries come directly to me. So if you have any kind of doubt, you can ask me directly. I'll be solving all your microbiology related queries. You can ask anything about the subject, doesn't have to be only about a question. I'm always available for you whenever you need help. You can have a counseling session with me. So we've put in features to make sure you keep studying. The Prepladder app will never let you fall behind. Solving OBS and Gynec questions will be easy for you after this. You would not have to worry about anatomy at all. You will be able to solve most of the questions in PSA. Most pathology questions in the exams are going to be derivatives or the repeats from these questions. 1 lakh competitors. 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 It's good to see that everyone in the team is giving their best. This is the best team of faculties that could have been put together. This is the biggest innovation in medical education. We are obsessed with making sure that you get the best value out of every minute spent on the Prepladder app. Really happy to be a part of Team Prepladder. You know, if there was something like Prepladder when I was preparing, I will, I'm, I'm sure that I would have prepared much better because I would have known what to read. It's attractional, which is the maximum problem for us because you see in attraction dental detachment, we can put a buckle, but because of the traction, because of the band or the fiber or the membrane, which is pulling the neosensor layer off the retina, it may cause detachments again. You may put a buckle and settle the retina, but it may be pulled off again, it's not. So in traction dental detachments, we have to go inside the vitreous cavity and cut all these tractional bands. We have to go and cut all these tractional bands so that they cannot pull the neurosensor layer off again. This is called as vitrectomy and requires a very painstaking surgery where we enter the vitreous cavity via the pars plana and remove and strip these membranes off individually so that they cannot contract and pull the layer off. This is called vitrectomy and let us see if we can see a vitrectomy here. It enters through the pars plana like this and into the, now we are inside the vitreous cavity. We now inside the vitreous cavity, you see the cutter here, del delicately cutting all the vitreous, you can see the Vitreous line, this is the hole that you're trying to heal. This is a detached retina, it's mobile, it's moving around too much. Look at the cutter very delicately moving over the optic disc, very delicately, never touching the retina. Remember, it cannot touch the retina, and this is the second part of the same video. It's too large, it's split into two parts. And this is how this is the hole we are trying to seal. This is the cutter, see how it's rotating like that, it's a rotatory cutter, hovering gently above the optic disc, never touching it, never touching the retina, otherwise, pull it off, removing all the traction bands very delicately, slowly and finally coming out through the pars plana. This is the principle of vitrectomy, where a small amount of vitreous volume is taken out so that we does not pull the retina along with it.